And the people stayed home and read books and listened and rested and exercised and made art and played games and learned new ways of being and were still. And listened more deeply. Some meditated, some prayed, some danced, some met their shadows. And the people began to think differently and the people healed. And in the absence of people living in ignorant, dangerous, mindless, and heartless ways, the earth began to heal. And when the danger passed, the people joined together again. They grieved their losses and made new choices and dreamed new images and created new ways to live and heal the earth fully as they had been healed. Kitty O'Mara. In this weird time, I hope that you are having as much weird, or maybe I should say different, fun as possible. Just because something is different does not make it bad or worse. It could actually even be better. I saw a friend of mine yesterday at Candy Cane Park. He was doing pull-ups on monkey bars. I asked him why he was here. This is different seeing, seeing him there at this park. To which he replied that his gym was closed, so he was working out on a jungle gym. And he said that he might even like it better because he could get a tan while getting jacked. I said, see ya and enjoy. And he remarked that this might have to be, might have to be his new and improved gym for life. And he said he was coming back in the afternoon to play tennis. You never know when your life is going to get rocked. All of our lives have been rocked, have been turned upside down. And sometimes when you're upside down, cool things fall out. Things that you never really knew were there. I challenge you to try new things inside the walls of your house and to do them. You never know, you might find that you might like it, and it might change your life for a day, maybe a month, or maybe even forever. I once knew a guy who played lacrosse in college, and his senior year, he blew out his knee just after the first game of the season. He was ripped to pieces. His life was turned upside down, but he noticed something that fell out that changed his life forever. He found a love of, for classical music. He took that spring to listen, learn, and love the music of Beethoven. And he wrote his senior thesis on this. I was listening to Beethoven this morning because he was I, and that is who I am now. Maybe Beethoven and Billy would have never connected if my life wasn't turned upside down. Young man, look around for what has fallen out. That's an order. This is your obligation as a young man who wants to grow into a man. That is what it means to get to heaven. Make God proud during these weird and different days. You never know. They might change your life forever. I should know. That was me. Hang loose, gang, and have a great spring break.